60 years in prison is the sentence for a Kingsland man who was high on meth when he caused a crash that killed a father and two children. John Wesley Horn got the maximum punishment for the deaths of Russell Rutland, his four-year-old daughter, and nine-year-old son. Two other children survived the crash. Now the Rutland family says they hope this punishment sends a message to others. Tucked away from the highway in the shade of an old oak tree. The dad took the old windmill and made his marker for, for the three of them. The handmade memorial to Russell Rutland, his little girl Maddie, and son Hunter. You can't miss the skid marks. They haven't lightened up at all. I see them constantly. Mike Rutland lives nearby and passes by this place every day, the place where his brother, niece, and nephew died. On June 6, 2009, John Horn, high on meth, crossed the center line and slammed into their car. He left a hole in my family. There's no, there's no fixing that. You know, generations have come and go, but he's left a hole, and it's not just one person. It's three people. It's a family. But Rutland believes justice for his family was done in a Burnett County courtroom Friday. Horn got the maximum 20 years on all three intoxication manslaughter charges, 60 years in prison. He also got 20 year sentences for the aggravated assault charges for the two Rutland children who survived the crash. Those will be served at the same time as the others. Those little boys will, will never fully recover from what they, you know, they went through. But the Rutland's Hope Horn's maximum sentence will send a message to others about driving impaired. We don't want him to get out someday and do this to someone else's family. I just hope the free world doesn't have to deal with John Wesley Horn ever again. Now, Horn's attorney has already said they will appeal. This was a precedent-setting case in Burnett County, the first intoxication manslaughter case where the defendant was on drugs and not alcohol. Horn, who is almost 31 years old and told the court he is a changed man now, will have to serve at least half of his sentence before he's eligible for parole.